celebration of Grafton, Massachusetts, we're going to do some trains because Grafton was an early adopter of trains in our region. I will look it up. I've always been interested in the trains that we have around Massachusetts. In part because Massachusetts <laughs> spent quite a lot of money and quite a lot of effort in putting in a canal system. You know, back in the early days with the colonists, travel was very rough, especially in the winter, you know, having to go through deep forests and having very poor roads and having to lug wagons over these roads. So it was very hard for people in the central Massachusetts area, like in Worcester, to be able to get their goods out to Providence or Boston to be able to ship them. And what they decided to do is create a canal system to get went from Worcester right in the center down to Providence on the coastline because there's a Blackstone River that already follows that path. And the Blackstone River has rapids and waterfalls and other stuff in it. So they decided to make a nice calm canal that took generally the same path and that way boats could go back and forth and deliver their goods. And travelers could take the canals and so on. So they spent lots and lots of money, lots of effort, digging an entire canal all the way from Worcester down to Providence. And it was a huge success, and a lot of people used it, and it was hugely popular. And then pretty much immediately after, the railroads came in. The railroads said, this is great. Look, there's all sorts of people who need to move goods. And if we make railroads, then we could run them all the time, and you don't need the horses to tug the boats up and down, and you don't have ice problems in the winter and all of that. So this poor canal, after they put all this effort into it, oh, hey, Laura. <laughs> um, after they put all this effort into it, only about 20 years later, the railroad started up and the railroads took all the, um, all the traffic because the railroads were faster and the railroads could run better in the winter and all sorts of things. So it was very sad for the canals, but it was great for the railroads because now the railroads were and are a key part of Massachusetts. So a lot of people travel. When I worked in Cambridge, I used to take the railroad in every day and I loved it. And I love railroads in general. I've been on railroads in Ukraine and in Europe and all sorts of other places. So the railroad that began in Grafton started back in 1873. So it's been a long, around for a long, long time. And it went between Grafton and other local places. You know, a lot of people back then, the only way to get around was horseback or walking. So it was so much easier to be able to hop on a railroad and quickly and easily get somewhere else, especially, you know, in the rain and the snow and all those other kinds of things. And even nowadays, people are, hey, Luke. <laughs> yes, I love railroads. <laughs> Even now, people are uh, quite happy to take railroads around instead of taking the train. Like I said, I used to take the railroad in uh, when I lived in Providence and took the railroad into Cambridge. So, Grafton. Grafton, Massachusetts is definitely known for its railroads. They, again, they started with the railroads. 1873 it was chartered. 1874 they were in operation. And they've had all sorts of railroads since then. And they have railroads now. Uh, my boyfriend worked at Trek Stop for quite a while, and the Trek Stop building in North Grafton was designed to look like a railroad station. So, lots of cool uh, connections with railroads, and the railroads still go through. You can still watch them chug through. So, we're going to draw some old-time steam engines, which were the kind that they was would have done back in their early days. So, what I'm going to do is find a stock image to get us started with. Train. So what I did for this starting image is I went onto a site, excuse me, called Pixabay. P-I-X-A-B-A-Y. I will write this on here so you can see. P-I-X-A-B-A-Y. B A Y dot com. My pen is being iffy. Pixabay.com. Pixabay is a free stock image site that allows you for free 
to search and print out and download and use all the pictures in their system. And this is super for artists because whenever you're doing art, it's a little iffy to do it based on someone else's artwork because they have the copyrights to it and then do you have the rights to do your version and especially if you want to sell things you don't want to sell things that are based on someone else's artwork because they own the rights to this image that they designed and so on but if you use stuff from pixabay as your base then you are completely set because all of the pixabay things are royalty free and copyright free and so on so i went on pixabay and looked for steam trains or actually I just looked for trains <laughs> but I went sorting through and looked for something that was a steam train rather than a more modern train and I came out with this cool Christmasy thing so this would be neat even if you were doing um, just printing crafts where you just wanted to print this out and then make your own collages and be able to put wall decorations or table decorations or so on of these different things so what we're going to do is we're going to use the train part of that and I'll probably just use these first two trains are really really neat for all sorts of reasons in the days that they had these steam trains they needed to give them fuel and water so they had to lug their own fuel and water around with them to be able to keep the train engine going in many places here in the US they used coal because at this point in time we had chopped down a lot of the trees to make houses and other things out of so coal was a good way to fuel them and then they carried along their own water and sometimes they carried along a big water tank and sometimes the thing that carried the coal also had water in it so that they could put these two things in the train and it would chug along tugging its line and then it would get low on fuel and would have to go by a fuel stop where they would stop and they'd get more water and get more fuel and then keep going so it was a, a very neat way of life they have a whistle to let people know that they're coming they have a bell to let people know that they're coming the thing on the front's called a cow catcher and mostly was used to get <laughs> snow and branches and other things off. It wasn't really meant for cows, but you know, anything that was on the line that could cause a crash needed to get swept off to the side so that the train could keep going and so that the objects would get off the track.